took our sleds out in the winter time, and the only hills we had were the ice covered stone steps and some houses down the street. And we used to build them in the snow and make them all smooth and slide down them all day. And it was very dangerous, you know, far too steep. And sure enough, one day a kid named Rufus came down too fast and hit the sidewalk, and we saw his face just split open right there in front of us. And I remember standing there looking at his bloody open face thinking, that was the end of Rufus. But the ambulance came and they took him to the hospital and they fixed the broken bones and sewed it all up. And the next time I saw Rufus, he just had a little line down the middle of his face. I never got over that. What one person would do for another, fix them up, sew up the problem, make them all right again, that was the most marvelous thing in the world. I wanted to do that. I always thought that it was the one concrete thing in the world a human being could do. Fix up the sick, you know, and make them whole again. This was truly being God. It used to be so important to me. It used to matter. I used to care. I think because it doesn't seem deep enough, close enough to what analyzed mankind. It was a child's way of seeing things, or an idealist. You are still where I left off. You with all your talk and dreams about Africa? You think you can patch up the world? Cure the great sewer of carnalism? With the penicillin of independence? Independence and then what? What about the crooks and thieves and just plain idiots who will come into power and steal and plunder the same as before? Only now? They will be black and do it in the name of the new independence. What about them? <laughs> 